Clay TV. I'm Kira. And I'm Elisa. And today Elisa is going to show you a really cool necklace that she made with a couple of different techniques. And she used a transfer from this month's image transfer sheet. Yep. And this is the image transfer sheet. And I'm going to be working with this heart right here. And I just printed it on magic transfer paper. And then I cut it out. And here's the heart cut out. Let's see. Right there. So let me just point you down and I'll show you what I'm what I made. I made this winged heart necklace. And it was really fun and really easy to do. Um, I still want to add another piece on the back here. I haven't gotten to that yet, but you can uh, kind of get the gist of it and see how cute that is. And it's really easy to make, and I'm going to give you some uh, insight right now. So what I want to do, I, need to, I decided to go with the Fimo effects, and it's a mint color, but you can use any color that you want. I wanted to see what this would look like instead of doing it on white to do it on the mint. So I cut out my image as close to the image as possible and I'm just going to lay it on a piece of the clay and cut around it with an X-Acto blade until you have the image and you want to do this all before you bake the clay. Um, you want to get your image completely cut out and before you even transfer it as well. So I'm just using the X-Acto blade and I, I'm working on a, a piece of wax paper because it makes it easier to turn it around and get into the angles where you got to go. Um, save your scrap clay, of course. And just cut it out. I'm not going perfect here because if I did, we'd run out of time here. <laughs> so there you have it. I, I just cut out my heart. And at this point, you can smooth the edges. The edges might be a little... You can use your finger. Um, another thing I like to do is kind of rock it back on my work surface, you know, until I get it smooth. That's another tip there. And uh, mostly my fingers. And sometimes what I'll do is when I'm transferring, I'll just rub it on my work surface like this to make sure there's no air pockets in there. And it's ready to be transferred right now. So I have just a little bowl of water. Normally I'd, I'd use a, you know, my faucet, but I can't really show you that. And I'm just going to dump it in there. And what I want to do is kind of wash off. You'll see the pulp of the paper coming off. And you can also rub it a little with your hands. You see the, you probably can see the, pe can you see the pulp in there, Kira? In uh, the water? I can't see the pulp, but you can see how the transfer immediately shows up. Yeah. So you can just, keep using the water. I mean, I would recommend doing it under the faucet. It just makes it easier. But let's see. It becomes, you know, a pulpy water. <laughs> so it, And you can just wipe it with a towel gently. And uh, there you have your heart. Now, I one of the things I like to do to kind of blend everything together is I will also come back and ink the edges or use some paint on the edges, something to just finish it off. So you can do that as well. You would just take an ink pad and you put it on your finger or on a brush and do that. So then I also had wings that I made and this is a silicone mold and I had these metal pieces my cat's going crazy behind me. I had these metal pieces which I just molded with some silicone mold and, and we like the amazing mold putty brand where you mix equal parts of the two together and flatten it and then put your piece in there and let it mold it sets up in maybe 15 minutes or so so it's real easy to use so if, if you ever want to make your own mold this this is the way we do it and you would just condition your clay and and mold it the same way I, I showed you in another video and we have several videos we've done on molding so you you just want to make sure that your clay is conditioned well when you're doing them up, when you're molding because otherwise it'll crack and so I would just basically shape it put it in there and cut off the extra off the back but here you have it so you can see that it just picks up the, all the details so that's the molding so then here's my actual piece as you can see this is the heart and I placed the wings after they were molded 
behind the heart and then I kind of smoothed it in a little. But I'm going to add another layer here. This isn't finished. I just I just had, had to show you this so I didn't add the layer on there. But I'll probably go on the back of it with black and give it a little texture so it, it makes it clean and smooth and looks like it's done. And uh, I just added some chain. These This chain actually is like a jump ring. It opens up. So I just opened up the chain and added it on. I created a hole with my with my um, knitting needle on each of the different wings and added the chain with a little um, magnetic clasp. And it really looked cute. I thought I thought it looked cute. It was super easy to do. Um, I just added some paints and some inks and stuff to the wings and I, like I said around the edges I like to do that. And just super simple. So you can you could do this with anything, you know. You could use any any design you wanted. It doesn't have to be a heart, obviously. Um, but real easy to do. Just transfer, mold your wings, piece them together, put holes in the ends here of the wings, and then string up some chain, or you could bead it, or anything you'd like. So that it's that simple. Yeah, you could add words to the heart too. Yeah, like, there's like. So much love you can across do. it or something would be really cute. Mm -hmm. Love or dream or fly or soar, whatever you like, you know. And it's just this. The only thing is, I used um, this magnetic clasp, and you may not want to use magnetic clasp when you're doing um, a metal chain because it tends to like crunch up like this. <laughs> Although I have carpal <laughs> tunnel, so for me, it's hard for me to do those regular clasps. So if you have any kind of handicaps or any kind of issues like that, you you can use these metal ones. And you can get a bigger one, too. They come bigger. I just happen to have that one laying around. Yeah. And I, the metal clasps or the, the magnetic ones like that work really well for mothers with young kids, too, because they're always grabbing at their jewelry. Right. My sister's broken a couple necklaces because her sons pull at it, but if That's it's true. magnetic, it'll let go. So Definitely. Definitely. So we like the magnetic clasp. And you can actually, there's a video that we've done in the past where we took the magnetic clasps and we embedded them in polymer clay. And that worked really well, too, so you didn't actually see the clasp. So that's an option as well. You would take each side and embed it into the clay, and, uh, and then you wouldn't see it. So if you were beating, if you weren't putting it on chain and you were beating it instead, then you may want to do it that way. So it all goes and blends in with, the, with your design. Yeah. Super great, simple and uh, fun. Doing, uh, a matching clasp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... Um, anything going on this week that we should talk about, Kira, that you can think of? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure exactly what week this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kira should be in Maryland by now. She moved yeah. from Austin. Um, I'm still in northern Florida here. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of things coming up. Uh, definitely check out polymerclayadventure.com and sign up to find out what's coming down the road. It's really, really big and exciting and and you can subscribe here on, on YouTube to our channel, so you make sure you get all the updates. On our About Us section, you could click on that, and there's all the links you need to find us on all the social networks, too. Mm -hmm. So definitely do that. And we'd love to be friends with you on Facebook or like us on Facebook or whatever. We're on all the social networks. <laughs> yep, and we have our own community. It's called craftylink.com, where you can go check out what's happening over there and create a little page, make some friends. And have some oh yeah, definitely. And I forgot to tell you, we also still have our books available. Um, Polymer clay art jewelry and our crackle techniques book are available on Amazon, or on Kindle, and now on the Android market. We finally got through on Google. Um, our crackle techniques book is available on all Android devices now, so that's exciting. That took a month and a half for them. They're kind of glitchy, so but it's there now. So if you're on an Android, you can find it that way. So. That was exciting. I think that's about it for this week. Uh, yep. We'll see you next time, and uh, have fun creating. Thanks for joining us.